Welcome back to another episode of iMovie Monday. Today, I'll be showing you how you can use the crop tool and Ken Burns tools to create camera movement inside of iMovie. So to get to the crop tools, what we need to do is head over to the cropping tab here. So to be able to crop our clip, what we're going to want to do is hit crop to fill. This has given us a rectangle where we can pull the corners in to crop in closer on the image. For example, I'll just crop this in a little bit more say about here and now to make sure it's centered you're going to want to drag around until you find both yellow lines and that they match up with the crossbar in the middle so now you can see I've dragged the crop right into the center now you know when you see these two yellow lines that your crop will be centered so now we'll just hit the check mark and this clip is cropped in now we'll take that crop away so you can see the difference And all you could tell is it punched in a little bit more. Another cool thing you could do with this crop tool is you can add more than one crop on a clip. So for example, let's say we want the clip to start here. And as it still spins, let's say we want to crop in a little bit closer. So I'm going to cut the clip here and when it stops, I want to do one more crop that's closer. So now we have our clip cut up into three different segments. So the first one, I'm just going to leave it how it is the second clip. We'll head up to the crop tool, crop to fill. I'll just come in a little bit more. Make sure we're in the center. I'm gonna hit the check mark. And then on this clip, I want it to come really close. So I'm gonna hit crop to fill. And we'll drag it around till we find the center. Right there. Hit the check mark. When I shot this, I didn't have it in the center, so an easy fix is just drag along the yellow line here until you like where it's centered, and we'll hit OK. And there you have it. This can work perfect if you want to crop in on someone's face as they're saying something funny, or you want to bring more attention to the subject. It adds more movement, so it keeps people's attention for longer naturally. Now let's say you want to undo the crop that you did on a clip. All you have to do is come over here to reset, and that will reset the whole clip. Moving on to our next crop tool, we have the Ken Burns, and this is where you can get camera movement inside of iMovie. You want to select Ken Burns here, and now we are given two different rectangles. One is our start, and the other is the end, so this will tell iMovie to start the motion here and by the time the clip is over end it right here and you can make this smaller maybe let's say we just want it to be right on the keyboard here this would be centered so if we leave it right there where both of the crossbars are overlaid over each other that is in the center or if you want to pick a specific part you can just drag it over a little bit further to where you want it to be and this can be anywhere in the frame so for this I'll just choose here and then once we have made our selection we're just gonna hit the check mark And that's how you can add camera movement inside of iMovie. So all I had was my iPhone on a tripod and then that way this movement works smoothly. So if you have a tripod that you're using and you have these still shots, this is a great way to keep people's attention again because there's movement in the shot. So let me just take this away and then you'll see how boring the shot would be without any movement. As you can see, it's very still. So if you're doing a vlog where you're showing something you're doing in a day, maybe you're cooking something, maybe you're working on the computer, whatever it may be. If you have a still shot, you'll be able to Ken Burns in on it or out is a great way to keep your audience engaged with your content. Let's say you wanted to Ken Burns out instead of Ken Burns in into the shot. All we're going to do is hit the swap here. So now you can see it starts here and it ends here. We can crop in closer if we want and just hit the check mark. And now as you can see, the shot is moving outward. And this is good variety because you don't want to always be Ken Burnsing into a shot because that can be very repetitive. So if you switch it up and use crops, Ken Burns in, Ken Burns out throughout the video, it gives you good variety. Sometimes when I shoot some iMovie clips, they will end up being upside down when I take them into iMovie. So if that happens to you, you can just use this rotate tool here and keep rotating until your shot is not upside down anymore. But for these ones, they all turned out good, so I don't need to use any of the rotating. I'm gonna cut this clip into three different parts. So leave the first clip how it is. The second clip, let's crop into the hand a little more. There we go. And then the last one, we'll crop in even more. So we'll play that back.
let's say I don't like that coming in so close. So what I'll do back on this clip is come here and reset. We'll take this crop away. So you can see as it's closely cropped in, the shot now comes back out. So that's another creative way you can use the crop tool without having to use the Ken Burns effect. So get creative with these tools. You can use the crop and Ken Burns effect to really help bring your content to life. That's all I have for everyone today. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to join me back here next Monday. I'll be showing you how you can use the speed tools inside of iMovie. It's a creative fro and I'm out.